Demon Slayer Season 4 Episode 3. Move it, you meat shields. Nice of Uzui to take time away from banging his hot wives to do some actual work. This dude just living his best life. <laughs> just having a great time. I, I, I kind of hate him. I love him and I hate him. Dude just has it all. Dude lost an eye and got everything else. But you can probably boil that down into three things. Hey, hey. Episode three. Fully recovered Tanjiro joins the Hashira training. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is level one. Look. You'll be thankful. You'll be thankful one day when you're not a meat shield. I mean, you should be thankful now that you're getting any training at all. Old friends reunited. There is just no no replacement for the bond they have after what they've been through. Nothing can come close. Oh yeah, I feel so sorry for you. You poor man. Oh, I would hate- I would hate Tanjiro. With the rocks. This is overachiever. <laughs> and he's having a great time. He just loves it. Other people's pain is Tanjiro's pleasure. On the bright side, for these meat shields, food is never gonna taste any better. All of us were pretty invaluable, I think. Bicep's really coming in. Ah, uh, damn, even food is a drill. Don't drop it this time. I'm never getting over that Udon incident. I gotta work after this? On the plus side, you all have the exact same amazing abs. Look at this dude. Oh, oh why would... Why? Why? All of you are dead. Why would you do it to yourself? <laughs> that night patrol not looking so great anymore. <laughs> oh wow. Wow, this is anime history. <laughs> really... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is this is a fake out. Whoops. Another cute little cricket guy? Wait, is it the same one? I thought he died. Am I crazy or is it the same slimy little dude from season three? Oh, I thought it was a little dude pushing a ball, but it, it's it's just his eye. Tundra used to carrying things on his back. And even then. <laughs> Rethinking their career choices. It's tough. Can you even get there? Admittedly, that's fair. Yeah, I bet he is. There's a lot at stake. Little did he, did he realize he was already successful at this point. And Tanjiro came up with this plan too. And he said it out loud. He's just toying with him at this point. If you can't eat unlimited soba, can you even call yourself a hero? That was charitable. <laughs> He's just torturing him. He's just enjoying this. Push through it. Wow, this is the closest I've seen Tanjiro come to defeat. It's the revenge of the noodles that he wasted in season one. These two are a really cool dynamic for reasons I can't explain. Harsh, but also, I mean, yeah. It does seem so binary. It's like you either are there or not at this point. Then again, they don't have to be able to defeat upper ranks for this to be a success. Part of the reason why they've struggled for so long is that the Hashira are just busy putting out fires everywhere all the time. If the regular soldiers could just pick up a little bit of that slack and we had a couple extra Hashira banding together in a squad, it would make a world of difference. And then also you figure this is also a filtering system. If you get one really great warrior out of this that can keep up, that's a win. <laughs> I miss you. I don't think they know how lucky they are. They could have just gotten swallowed up and eliminated. And it doesn't seem to follow the normal rules of physical space. 
Yeah, it seems like wishful thinking to believe they're being idle. Careful what you wish for. Make my own luck. They can all feel it too. He's terrified. Yeah, it's Eye of the Storm. Do what you can for now. Let's go and fight! Okay, this is trading. Maybe dispelling some anxiety here as well. I touched on this a little bit before, but I'm increasingly thinking that if I'm Muzan, I'm not consolidating. I think the move is to continue keeping the Hashira occupied by, you know, random demon attacks here and there throughout the world with, you know, your lowest level disposable henchmen or like the minimum amount to keep everyone busy. It really does feel like a character flaw in Muzan in keeping with his arrogance and his selfishness and his greed. Ah, yeah, classic Tanjiro cannot be happy without doing basic chores. It really wasn't. After all they did, after all they did for you, you can't even learn their names? Come on now. The blonde kid? Are you serious? My memory for details, obviously, is not fantastic. Didn't Zenitsu himself, like, go after the wives? Didn't he risk everything? Didn't he get captured and put in, like, a web? Didn't he become a scarf for you? The kid with the yellow hair, okay. That's what I was saying, yeah. There was no one moment or second or individual that wasn't crucial in contrast to Muzan and his endless selfishness. Just like uh, all for one. Alright, so it's a little more there than I, I thought. He didn't just F off to bang his hot wives. Yeah, I guess if, if you have that level of dedication and conscientiousness and vision that Uzui obviously has, that would eat at you, right? There is no real walking off into the sunset. There is the glorious conclusion of arcs if you're lucky, which then just leads to a whole new arc starting. There is no like, I did it, I'm done moment that lasts forever, which I think initially might sound defeating, like, ah, oh, like there's no end, but I think there's a gift in that as well. And also I think there is a way you can, you can make it in a certain sense if you found something that means that much to you, that is that kind of spiritual enterprise for yourself that is contributory, that builds, that is fulfilling in some of the, the bigger ways life can be fulfilling, but it's in the present progressive, like it's the doing of the thing. It's an endless pursuit. There's always more to be done. That is a kind of making it in that sense. But you don't want to have no quests, right? You don't want to have no arc, no endeavor. Nominally, this is a physically physical training arc, but what it's turning into is, is Tanjiro venturing into the depths of all the Hashiro's souls. It's an emotional quest for the resolve. <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah. First, <laughs> first get to do the same lap that I just canceled. Uh oh, having my hair academia forest training arc flashbacks. You are right to be terrified. Oh, that's interesting. Hanjiro Tengen. I mean, that's really all it is. It really is just Tanjiro Tengen. Meat shield number one, gone. All in all, a fairly accurate testing exercise given what we've seen about real life. Your job is to meat shield it until Tanjiro shows up. <laughs> totally invisible. <laughs> Can't smell him? <laughs> oh wow, how does he mask the smell? <laughs> oh, Tanjiro <Hunter> leading. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Even the wind impact. <laughs> Yeah, reminder that we're not hot sure yet. <laughs> this week a spectator event. I was supposed to a training exercise. He's there. He's on the he's on the path. Yeah, we had a whole season. I can't help but wonder if this is Uzui's real intention. And this probably is, in a way, the next iteration of what started with Giyu. Getting into Tengen's psyche and working past some mental or emotional obstacle that Tanjiro will, will probably unlock. I've long been saying that one of my favorite things ever is the teacher-student dynamic, and it's because it's a great example of mutual giving. Whereas on the surface it appears like it's teacher to student, Tanjiro likely to be a reminder of Tengen, of that sort of fire and passion. It can be a really thrilling dynamic, partly because of the terror that's in it, of being the teacher, but realizing that the student has more than you ever had and will probably surpass you at some point, at least in some ways. And you only occupy this position for now. You love it if you're well-intentioned. Part of you maybe hates it and is terrified by it.
There you go. There you go. They're getting into it. They're in there. They're there. They're not getting one-shotted. That was as cool as it was unnecessary. <laughs> it's a morale builder. This dude is 10 feet tall. That's the target. Now you know. You're the target. The Annie has been raised on the target. It was surviving laps around mountains. Now it's Tanjiro and the Hashira. You were right to cry. <laughs> Tanjiro getting special student treatment exempt from sit ups, not that he needs them. Upper, upper rank. He just makes them. Uzan can make upper rank demons more easily than they can make Hashira. It speaks really well of all of them that they don't absolutely detest him. <laughs> their, their hearts are in the right place. I guess at this point, everyone who isn't that has dropped out. Or maybe it was we just killed them deliberately. This incident has inspired Uzui in his difficult dilemma to keep banging his hot wives or rejoining the Hashira. He's come to the conclusion that he will rejoin the Hashira while banging his hot wives. He can do both. If you can't join the Hashira while banging your hot wives, can you even call yourself a hero? I wonder who's going to be the hardest challenge for Tanjiro in this whole training quest. We're all kind of having parallel experiences here. This should be interesting too. Oh, that was brutal. No mercy. That would make him an upper rank demon. I don't know why this comes to mind, but I kind of want to see Tanjiro struggle a little bit. I mean, he's got this great unbeatable spirit. That's part of what makes his character admirable and inspiring. But surely there's got to be something that blindsides him, right? I mean, maybe not. I just think that would be interesting. <laughs> Like, we need a reminder. We know. <laughs> that was a sentence that Tanjiro made. I love how I talked about his three wives the whole episode, only for Tengen to appear in the Taisho Area Secret to talk about his three wives. It's good because I had forgotten for a second that Tengen had three wives. Not sure if the show has adequately established how many wives Tengen has. What was it? Three? <laughs> Three hot wives. And what what has he lost? An eye? He has a spare eye. Tengen has two more wives than he has eyes. He lost one eye and got two wives, breaking all the laws of alchemy. Anyway, Tokido is another one with whom we have history. And there's definitely that shared experience of battle, but for some reason, well, I know why. It doesn't feel as rich of a bond as we've seen developed between Tanjiro and Tengen. I think because season three all happens in the span of like a day, more or less. Whereas season two, you know, there's like this long build up. They're, you know, doing this whole investigation together. He's more of a father figure where Mukito feels a little bit like not an equal power wise, but an equal in terms of mental and emotional development. They feel a little bit more like peers. So it'll be interesting to see what that dynamic is in their training and what comes up for Mukito. Tanjiro kind of acting as a blank slate in a sense or a backboard for us to explore the Hashira in this arc.